GB News is under threat. The other broadcasters don't like it. Adam Bolton, longtime veteran of Sky News, said that GB News was damaging the ecosystem of broadcasting, by which he means it's our little club. And we don't question climate change or mass immigration. We thought EU membership was wonderful. How dare you come along and give us a hard time? Now, the problems are getting very, very real. The industry is regulated by Ofcom. They have decided to put my programme under investigation on the basis they say that I'm a politician. Well, you know what? Even I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Had me as an ex-politician. I am not actively involved in politics at all, but they don't like it. And some more of the great and the good are hosting a conference in Sheffield. Have a look at this. I mean, it's absolutely bizarre. They're saying that GB News is a threat to democracy, so it must be closed down. No sense of irony from these people whatsoever. They don't agree with much of what is said. Therefore, they simply want the channel closed down. And I also think that the big political parties perhaps don't like GB News too much because it does genuinely question many of the things that are going wrong in this country and around which there is a huge consensus in Westminster. Worse than that, we have a situation where commercial television and radio survives through advertisements. That model has been there for a very, very long time. But there's an organisation called Stop Funding Hate, <laughs> who seem themselves to have quite a lot of money. And if anybody advertises on GB News, they will get dozens of emails every day from Stop Funding Hate, saying you're funding a channel that is damaging democracy, you're funding a channel that is causing division. And frankly, you know, if you're a marketing officer for a holiday company and you're bombarded by a nicely aggressive emails, you probably think, you know what? We can't be bothered with this. So we're under assault from the regulator. We're under assault from the rest of the industry. We're under assault in terms of our advertising, without which keeping the channel going long term is not easy. But there's a reason, folks, why all this is happening. You won't really hear much about this, but here goes. You might have noticed that GBNews.com is growing rapidly. In fact, it is the fastest growing news website in the country and has been for the last 10 consecutive months. We are now the 12th most read news website in this country. And within a couple of weeks, I think we're going to be in the top 10. So they don't like the fact we're doing so well online. But what really depresses them is what's happening with live viewing. Now, look, I get it. Lots of you now watch things on catch up. Lots of you watch things on clips, but there are still people that still tune in. So my show goes out on GB News, 7 to 8 p.m. Monday to Thursday. And if you look at these figures, these are the figures for the last week or so, and they will show you that my show every single night beats the, beats the BBC News Channel. It beats Sky News. It beats what's left of talk TV. In fact, on several of those evenings, if you add up all the other news channels, even together, their number is not as high as my show. And across the whole day, we had a period just gone where for six out of eight days, the channel beat Sky News across the whole day. Our numbers are going up, both live, on Catch Up, on YouTube, on all forms of social media. The industry now sees us as a threat. The political establishment see us as a challenge. I sense there is an epic battle coming between now and the general election. There will be every attempt made to get me off air and every attempt made, frankly, to even get GB News off air. You know, all these people in Westminster, the political class, the media class, they don't believe in choice. They don't believe in real debate. They basically think that anybody with a different point of view should be cancelled and shut down. And well, let me assure you, we are going to fight like hell and we're not going to let them win. And if you believe in free speech, open debate, we hear both sides of an argument, please, please support us in whatever way you can at GB News because we are under serious attack.